Inside the area, and it's here for the four four. Emotional moments are guaranteed in today's video. The top 10 last second goals in Bundesliga history. Have fun with these spectacular and vital strikes. And it's a great last second goal from this season that gets us going. Uh, now Thomas Kraft getting involved. Oh, have you ever seen anything like this before? A set piece move organized by a goalkeeper. One goes back onto the post, moves forward again. And here's Ronnie. Ronnie! Oh, he's done it! He's done it! And rescued a point for Hertha Berlin! Nearly six minutes into injury time. Do you believe it? Twice Freiburg go into the lead. And twice, Ronnie rescues Hertha. In at nine, that famous last-minute strike from 62 metres in Bremen's game against Aachen. And this is Diego. Diego's long ball all the way, and it's a touch of brilliance! What an unbelievable goal from Diego Riba da Cunha! Here, Alemania Aachen coming so close, nicht the goalkeeper in orange here. Trying to run back as quickly as possible. Diego sees the challenge, sees the chance, and gets it underneath the crossbar. What a goal, what a way to finish an incredible match. Touch of brilliance, look at the face of Nice. Oh, no. FC Bayern laid down a marker against surprise league leaders Hoffenheim in the 2008-09 season. Watch out, it's going in! They made a mistake and they've been punished by it in stoppage time with just a few seconds on the clock remaining. And Luca Toni is the man. Just as we all thought it was all over, your commentator was about to close down. Well, Bayern did not close shop. The mistake by Ibbetsberger. Picked up by Closer, finished by Tony. And it's 2 1 for Bayern Munich. 92 minutes, it will go down in the annals of history. Was goal number two in this game. And there's no time remaining apart from the time to celebrate. Jurgen Klinsmann and Uli Hoeneß can open a big bottle of Bavarian beer tonight. Ulf Kirsten was the undisputed Leverkusen hero in the 97-98 season in a thriller against Bayern Munich. What's better than a last-minute goal? A stoppage time brace. Kirsten's header to make it 3-2 turned a crazy game on its head. Bayern were leading 2-0 at one stage, and then came this last second goal. Well, we say last second, but there was actually time for something else. Leverkusen's record goal scorer made it 4-2 to wrap up his hat-trick against Bayern on an unforgettable night of Bundesliga football. Here's a very special highlight from Bundesliga 2, Frankfurt's last second promotion in 2003. They face Reutlingen on the final match day. We're into added time and Eintracht need one more goal to move above Mainz in the table. And then... Alexander Shaw makes the impossible possible. Frankfurt wins 6-3 and Shaw is the promotion hero. There was no holding back with the celebrations, a real roller coaster of emotions for the players, coaches and fans. Frankfurt were back in the Bundesliga, but there were two sides to every story. It was a bitter pill to swallow for Jurgen Klopp and his mind side, who missed out on promotion at the very last second despite a 4-1 win in Braunschweig. Goal number five is another one from this season, Moritz Doppelkamp's 82-metre record hit. 
is there one last chance for Typhon Corcoran's side to grab a point in Paderborn. Here's Stoppelkamp. Oh, he's gone for it! Oh, this is unbelievable! Will it go in? Yes! Paderborn 2-0! Moritz Stoppelkamp, former Hanover 96 player, who's got it? Unbelievable scenes in Paderborn! Have you seen anything like this? From the edge of his own penalty box, Moritz Stoppelkamp scores what must be the winning goal for Paderborn. That must be 80 metres. Quite phenomenal and part of Paderborn's phenomenal start to the season. Just watch this again. You'll never see anything like it again. Here's another happy ending for Frankfurt. It was the relegation finale of the century in the 1998-99 season. Eintracht were leading 4-1 against Kaiserslautern on the final match day, but they needed another goal to avoid relegation. Step up, Jan Agafjortoft. Frankfurt and coach Jörg Berger had completed a miracle. And what an incredibly cool step over from Norwegian Fjortoft. The whole of Frankfurt is delirious. Everyone had already written them off as relegated, but five second half goals saved the Eagles in sensational style. Nuremberg were the side that surprisingly ended up dropping down to Bundesliga 2. They were 12th at the start of the match day, but lost 2-1 to Freiburg, who stayed up along with Hansa Rostock and Stuttgart. Goal number three is where things get really emotional. A last second strike in one of the best games in Bundesliga history. Maybe the last fling now, and this is Gettner. It's on the area, and it's here for the 4-4. Oh, what a goal, what a day. This is why we love football. I can't believe what I am seeing, and Jurgen Klopp thinks he's daydreaming. Or is it a nightmare? The ball not cleared, the header from Schmelzer came back to Gettner, and the man that came on as a substitute, Christian Gettner, gets the 4-4, and that almost three minutes into stoppage time. The mother of all derbies in the 97-98 season. One last throw of the dice from Schalke against Dortmund. Even Essendon fair keeper Jens Lehmann is up. And unbelievably, it's him that heads in to secure a remarkable two-all draw. Goalkeepers had only ever scored from the penalty spot in the Bundesliga before that, making Lehmann the first to score from open play. And it just had to be in the Ruhr derby as well. Controversially, the goalkeeper joined Schalke's arch-rival Stormen just two years later. At number one, it's the conclusion to the most unbelievable title race in Bundesliga history. In 2001, Schalke are just seconds away from their first ever German championship. But their celebrations after beating under Hacking 5-3 are too early. Rivals Bayern may be 1-0 down in Hamburg, but the game isn't over. Schalke could even watch their nightmare unfold on the big screen. Patrick Anderson with the very last chance. And the Swede completes the sensation and Bayern go crazy. Scenes that we won't forget in a hurry. It was Anderson's first and only Bundesliga goal for Bayern. The Munich side once again won the title, while Schalke would dub the four-minute champions.